Nathaniel Bungie here for Tech Session, and today I am proud to bring you the unboxing and first impressions of the Urban Armor Gear Aero case for the Samsung Galaxy S6. So you can see right here the packaging comes from the United States Postal Service, USPS. So as you can see right here, we get a standard little bubble wrap envelope. Peel that open. And pull out the contents. But you see we have a packing slip right here. It shows you which product you ordered. Shows you your model number. And then just a little bit of UAG information at the bottom. Probably don't need this, so I'm just going to go ahead and file this off to the side, at least for now. And then we see the actual case and packaging itself. So we're going to pull off the plastic. And you are greeted with the case's box. So a quick little tour of the box. The top you get the military standard branding at the top, which proves that UAG is indeed good at their drop testing um, protection on their cases. You get the UAG branding. A little bit of decoration and uh, bragging rights over here. Impact resistant feather light and the HD screen protector, which, which is included. And we'll go over it in a little bit. Designed for the Samsung Galaxy S6. This color, I believe, is Arrow and pretty color accurate what I'm seeing on screen versus what is actually in front of me right now. A bluish gray, little bit more gray than what you're seeing on camera, but it's perfectly all right. So we'll go to the back, get a little bit more about the bragging on the front, which is perfectly okay, because I would definitely rather have a amazing case than one that they're not confident to brag about. So you can see the bottom right here, we have a little lift up to open type of thing but I am seeing a little piece of tape here that we're gonna have to cut through first. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the knife, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I did grab the knife. So what we're going to do is like I just mentioned, go to the bottom of the package and we're going to slice the little circular piece of tape holding down the open tab. So we are going to figure out where that goes into, there we go. And just cut it, if we can get it. Yeah, I guess that'll work. We'll just kind of manhandle it from here. Got it open most of the way, so we're just going to pull open the bottom of the packaging. Like so. Force it open. We're going to go all out flossy Carter here. Go beast mode. So, we just pull out the tray here. File this off to the side. And you are greeted with the case right up here, front and center, with the screen protector resting inside. And then the rest of the package just gives you a little bit of cleaning instructions as well as a little tiny handy card in here to iron out any of the air bubbles that might arise during installation. So we're going to file this tray off to the side as well, take a closer look at the case. So we're going to pull out the screen protector here, you can see shows you number one and two, which side to peel off first and second. Obviously you're going to peel off the number one first and the number two second and apply that to your device. So you have a little handy home button cut out here at the bottom. At the top, you have a nice, wide, adequate cutout for your front-facing camera and your earpiece, so that shouldn't be blocking anything there. Looking at the case itself, it's a typical UAG plasticky type of case, but it has a nice rugged look. You get the UAG branding, these fake plastic bolts here, which a lot of people don't like, but I'm actually quite fond of. You can see you have these little tiny raised edges here to prevent the case from sitting directly on a surface, which will protect the back to make it look even nicer. You can see on the right hand side of the case you have your power button. The bottom you have all your cutouts for your micro USB port, your headphone jack, your speaker, and your microphone. On to the left hand side you have your volume up and down. And onto the top you have a cutout for your IR blaster and your microphone. And probably one of the first things you notice are these huge bumpers on the side which will definitely help protect against corner drops. And based on what I've seen of the case so far, that should be very, very helpful. You get this nice honeycomb pattern on the middle, get a nice adequate cutout for your heart rate monitor, for your flash, for your camera, and everything that rests on the back. So the next step is to take the Galaxy S6, which in my case is white, and we're going to simply slot the top end into the case first, like so, and we are going to push on the bottom end. And then we're just going to go around and make sure everything is in the case nice and good. And you can see it is. So just a quick little look around there again. You can see all the ports are perfectly cut out. Doesn't block any functionality at all. And I actually am pretty fond of this white in here. I was kind of wondering whether white would be the right choice for a black and the darker colored case, but I actually like it quite a bit. So let's test out the buttons. Wow, this is a lot better than past UAG cases I've used. I'll just say that right off the bat. These are very soft buttons, but you still get that tactile feel of what the actual buttons feel like. So, 
yeah, I mean, that's about it I can give you for the button feel, but you can see there's a little tiny raised lip around the edge of the case here to protect it from a face down drop, or if you're just setting it face down on a table, which I honestly don't do too often. But we do have the screen protector here. I'll probably be putting that on later because it's kind of hard to do on camera, but that will definitely fit in here perfectly fine. By the way, it is a plastic screen protector, not a glass one. So it should fit perfectly fine in the case here. You do have a nice open design on the front so as not to block any of the capacitive buttons or any of the functions at the top. But yeah, like I mentioned, this is a very nice case here. And based on my first impressions, I would recommend it to anybody. Stay tuned for my full review, which I will leave linked in the description once it goes live. And until next time, this is Nathaniel Bungie from Tech Session. See you later.